publication about time said, if there is anything we find inconceivable, it is that something could arise from nothing. So where did the universe come from? Why does the universe exist instead of just nothing? There must have been a cause which brought the universe into being. We can summarize our argument thus far as follows. Premise one, whatever begins to exist has a cause. Two, the universe began to exist. Three, therefore, the universe has a cause. It doesn't mean it's God, it doesn't mean it's Jesus, it doesn't mean it's Allah, it doesn't mean anything. It just means there's a cause for the universe. So we ask another question, what is the nature of this cause? And the nature of this cause upon conceptual analysis, which means critical thinking, thinking about this cause, we come to some startling conclusions. So the cause of the universe must be immaterial beyond space and time. Beyond space and time. Now there are only two things that can fit in this category. The first, abstract objects, and the second, an unbodied mind. So we're faced with two worldviews. One starts in the beginning with mass energy, the particles, and everything is derivative, including information. The other says the exact opposite. Says the exact opposite. Says the exact opposite.